Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniela and today we'll continue with last, this time episode 14 of the third season. In the last episode on the island, John and Ben had a little talk. Uh, John wanted to know where the submarine is because he wanted to destroy it for a reason or another. At the end, he did destroy it, the, the submarine, right when Jack and uh, Juliet were about to leave. So, who? Mm, I can't wait. And also, Ben uh, has John's father somehow and he wants to work together with John. For the same reason, I also thought about why John um, was healed but Ben wasn't. And I think it's because Hmm. Again, maybe they are two different teams. Maybe the island is one team, the black smoke is another team, and John is more close with the island. Even if I feel that is manipulated by the black smoke. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe the black smoke held... Uh, John and he thinks that the island did it and and the others are more with the island also that Ben was born on the island oh my god the hostiles have been there for a lot of time um, but we also saw some of John's backstory how he ended up in a wheelchair and oh my god I feel so sorry for him. Like, he absolutely didn't deserve anything that came to him. His father tricking him like that, giving his uh, kidney and giving him his kidney. And then at the end, his father attempting... To, to murder him, to kill him. Like, that was his intent. You don't throw someone from the 8th floor for just because, you know, <laughs> you want to be left alone. You do it because you want to kill him. And somehow, I still don't understand how John survived that. Like, his back was broken, but his head was okay I'm guessing he had some fractured um, ribs how they didn't go to his lungs how his neck is still intact I don't know but uh, that was that and um, yeah I mean it's not an excuse, but I would be like, if John does something that I don't agree with, I'd be like, yeah, but you know, he's been through a lot. <laughs> I'm joking about them. Uh, I can't wait for this episode. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen between Jack and John because Jack had so much hope. I mean, he was so ready to live and now John was the one that took that away from from him but again I don't think he knew that without that beacon I mean I don't think he knew that a beacon exists and without that he can come back so I don't know maybe he'll gonna get angry with Ben that he didn't told him because he wanted to come back and save Kate and the rest uh, but yeah, yeah. anyway as usual I got Something to drink. The episode is ready to start. So, without further ado, let's do this. And now, dancing on stage three, the Pride of St. Paul, Corvette! That's the money for the orphanage. That means, Mr. Lashad, you're the Cobra. 
Sorry, baby, it's just business. Is this a, a movie? Razzle dazzle! Ha! Bad news. Corvette was working for the Cobra. All right, that's a series wrap for Corvette. Let's hear it for Nikki. Well done, Rob. Well done, Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. I'm not leaving Sydney. I love you. I love you too. What happened? What? What did she say? I don't know. What are you doing? Get moving. Dude. Nikki's dead. Paolo, come in here. Yes, sir. Paolo, my boy. You have a new fan. I'd like you to meet Nikki. The food is amazing. You're too kind. I realize, of course, it's not a ring. Not yet. But uh, when my wife. <gasps> They're working together. He's gone. That was a plan, right? What? Ashes are evidence, Paolo. We poisoned him. Let's not poison ourselves. <sighs> Razzle. Freaking dazzle. Diamonds? I think she said power lines. Who the hell knows what she said? She was five seconds from dying. She's probably seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Paolo lies. That's what she said. Paolo lies, not power lines. Paolo lies. Mm. Are you chewing gum? Nicotine gum. I quit. Do you want me to just grab a chair from the restaurant? No, forget it. Let's just leave. You already screwed us out of seats in first class. Why would you be able to find them here? Hey, can I have this chair, please? Yeah. Be my guest. Boone, let's just go. His hair is different, right? Promise me we'll never the end color. up like that. You mean dead? Well. I promise. Are you okay? Yeah. I think so. Where's the bag? What? The bag. Hello, oh, where is it? Whoa. I'm guessing that's Paolo. He's just like Nicky, no wound, nothing. Why are his pants undone? And why is his shoe in that tree? Two people are dead. You ever think they might have been poisoned? That's evidence. You're messing up the crime scene. Crime scene? For who? Their forensic hatch I don't know about? Stop! Monster. Did you guys lose your luggage? Yeah, I lost mine too. I found some other stuff though. So if you need anything, pants or sweatshirt, I can help you find some that fit. If you don't want to come, then find another way to contribute. Because every man for himself is not going to work. But if we can't live together... We're going to die alone. We're going to die alone. That is, uh, Latrodactus regina. Very dangerous. They call her the Medusa spider. Her pheromones are very strong, one whiff, and every male of the species would be here in seconds. I'm trying to find my luggage, and since the plane broke apart over the jungle, I was wondering if you knew about trajectories and stuff. Allow me to draw you a map, madam. Have a look. <laughs> Another plane. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Go up there, maybe there's a radio or something. Are you insane? If I go up there, that thing's gonna fall. No way they knew about the the plane. Who's that? <laughs> and the hatch. <laughs> Stop. This is amazing. Let's check it out. Oh. So our carry-on bag fell from the sky, opened a manhole crawled inside and closed the doors behind itself? You don't want to climb up to a plane, but yeah. now you want to climb down a ladder into a dark tunnel. I don't think so.
you just found <laughs> you just found a a hatch a tunnel in a remote island and you're just brushing it off dude the cobra's this big bad guy his identity's been shrouded in mystery for four seasons every damn one of those bastards on the other side of the island had one exactly like this hanging from their belts so how did nikki and Paolo look at one they were working with the others Don't think so. I think it was, I don't know. Maybe he, they found it and just took it. Cause like how they stumble upon the plane in the hatch. And... Well? Nothing. There's nothing down there? No. Just dead bodies. Does he want to keep the diamonds for himself or he's more afraid that she won't be with him anymore after they find the... I think it's not diamonds, like what else can be in there? I was with the others like two weeks ago. They're on a total other side of the island. Then who dragged me into the jungle? I don't know if it's a good idea to bury nice something night. on the beach you should put the shovel away and save yourself some trouble why is that things don't stay buried on this island the beach is eroding winter's coming high tide shepherd will never agree to do the surgery no, I can convince him to do it. How? Same way I get anybody to do anything. I find out what he's emotionally invested in, and I exploit Does it. Does Paolo hear them? So, what? We just grab all three of them? Ford and Austin, too? No, they need to come to us. And how do we make that happen? Michael, of course. No way! No way you know about all this. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this. I love this. <laughs> Cute little toy. Why not take it? Can you, you know, use your psychic powers? I only see flashes. No offense, dude, but as far as superpowers go, you're just kind of lame. I do know she was with your mate this morning. I saw her with your, your boy Sawyer. You say you didn't know her. And why was she yelling at him? Right before she died. Son? It was me. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was me who took you. I mean, it's not something that the others won't do. at me. They, they did. Humiliated they took people. So you humiliated. So you told me I could get even by helping him steal the guns. We just made it look like the others. Anybody else want to come? Meet us at the tree line in ten minutes and bring water. You're not serious. I think it was like a mistake or something that they are dead now. Like coincidence, something, nothing serious happened. Does it have something with the gum? Did he choke on the gum? But what happened with her? Was there something with the insects of art? Oh, I see what this is. Villagers got themselves some torches. Did you kill them? No. Yeah, me and Nikki went at it this morning because she wanted a gun. Why didn't you tell us this before? Because of dirt under her nails. What was it? What does she hide? Go ahead, take them. Because whatever happened to those two, I had nothing to do with it. Maybe not finding it was good for us. How do you figure that? Look what he did. Might have torn us apart. He is afraid she's going to leave him. I think he cares about her. He quit smoking for her. 
I mean, sure, for him as well, too. I mean, it's health. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, she knows he found the bag. Give me a gun. I got a better idea, sister. How about you go stick your head in the ocean and cool yourself off? Is this what Desmond saw? Wow. Arguing? Charlie told me it was your idea to kidnap me. You gonna tell Jen? No. Why not? I'm just gonna kill you because and Charlie, have probably. To dig another grave. Why are you giving me these? Because they're worthless here. See, and I thought I was gonna get out of this without a lesson. Rest in peace, Nikki and Paula. Whose hand was that? What's this? Your nicotine gum? You wanted to stop looking for the bag because you'd already found it. What the hell was that? Oh. So what, she got out of your mind? You or? remember Dr. Art's friend? He told me why they call it the Medusa spider. Want to know why? Because one look from Medusa would turn anyone to stone. Just like one bite from the spider will paralyze you. For uh, about eight hours. <laughs> they're not dead. They're paralyzed. You won't be able to move a muscle, so I'll be able to do all sorts of nasty things to you. Was that a female, right? So the males will come and attack her now? I was afraid of losing you if you found the diamonds. The monster, the black smoke. Ow. Damn it. Now she was running to bury the diamonds before she got paralyzed as well. Hey! Hey, what happened? thing Nikki and Paolo are, <laughs> are gone are dead um, I like that um, in the beginning I was kind of upset and annoyed because I really wanted to to know what's going on with uh, with John and, and Jack there but um, after some some time I actually <laughs> I started to to like it and yeah but I don't know I mean it wasn't um a great episode it was a fun episode or at least I found it fun um I think maybe a lot of people were annoyed by by this because it it was pointless um didn't help the story at all and for those that used to watch it on tv and i don't know i think once per week maybe if i remember correctly so you have to wait a week for a new episode and to see this one <laughs> You'll be a bit annoyed. They knew about everything, like the the important things that happened till now. They already knew about it. They they knew about the plane, and you know, John made such a big deal out of it from finding the plane and how he found the plane and about the hatch, and they just stumble upon them. 
It was walking, take on a walk in in the jungle and look, the plane. Oh, look, the hatch open and they were like, yeah, that's... I'm not interesting. This is not important right now. Just close it and walk up. That's, that was amazing. I loved it. And um, uh, they knew about the the others watching the the survivors and about the about Ben and Juliet and that they are gonna kidnap. Sawyer and and Kate and Ben and um, Jack and that he needs Jack for the surgery and they're gonna use Michael so that Michael kind of works with them not with them for them I'm gonna sound weird but I was hoping that they're gonna stay there like just paralyzed and when she opened the eyes her eyes you know, I hope that just bury her alive, bury both of them alive, and they did, and I think they are dead. So wow, what a way to go! I guess just a bunch of coincidences and events and misdirections, a lot. Like a, it looked like a cliche episode from a cliche drama with. No, she said that Paolo lied. No, when she actually said paralyzed and with Desmond saying that she and Sawyer had an argument right before she died and you know fun. Honestly, I like I I I can't take this episode serious and I'm not gonna take it serious. That's why like I really think it was a fun episode. Yeah, you know. Um, I'm gonna stop here. I, I don't think there's much to say about this episode. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye!